And first at 10, Springboro schools closing down because of the rise of COVID-19 cases and its impact on students as well as staff. Yeah, they're taking calamity days and all school buildings will be closed for the rest of this week. Two News reporter Allison Gens is live in the studio with what led to this decision and how parents are reacting. Allison. In a letter sent to parents, the district says it's using two calamity days because there's not enough staff or substitutes to account for the amount of absences. COVID-19 and other seasonal illnesses closed down Springboro schools Thursday and Friday. The decision coming late Wednesday afternoon. In a statement sent to parents, the district said, We apologize for the challenges this presents for many families given the short time frame. We simply do not have the teacher staff coverage due to absences for all our students. Please understand this option is a last resort. The next two days will be calamity days, meaning there will be no online or take-home assignments for students. Some parents say this could have been avoided. There's a difference between a calamity day and something that could have been prevented. I have just been disappointed all the way, all the way through this year about the lack of vaccine and mask mandates. Other parents who declined to speak on camera say they're glad the district made this decision for the well-being of students and staff. The district says they're doing their best to keep kids in school by shifting schedules to cover classes, but their staff is strained by absences and it's not sustainable. The statement reading, we want our families to be prepared in case we are forced to make more decisions such as this in the future due to teacher staff absences and a lack of available substitutes. That does concern me about how it's going to impact his education, whether he may miss more days of school just outright or whether we have to trans transition back to remote learning. Now, classes will resume Tuesday, January 18th. The district says to offset the absences, they've increased pay for substitutes and are trying to promote the hiring of substitutes, educational assistants, and bus drivers. In the studio, Allison Gens, 2 News, working for you.